Restore your center by knowing the dangers of buying real estate in the Philippines. I uh, wanted to share you share with you my experiences. So, well, if you're going to buy real estate, the easiest way is to buy brand new where you're the first owner. Uh, if you're, whether you're a foreigner or not a foreigner, you can absolutely buy a condo in the Philippines. You can't buy the land, but you can buy the condo. Uh, whether it's, you know, by, it doesn't matter what, Ayala or, um, uh, you know, in Moa, wh wherever you buy, Pico de Loro, you can buy a condo there, brand new, you're the first. So that's the easiest place, right? It's from the, the easiest way. It's from the developer straight to you. Second way, unfortunately, will be secondhand, and that will be from somebody. But some of the problems I've encountered or I've heard other people encounter was number one, at, right now I'm dealing with something where I was looking at contracts and I noticed on one of the contracts there were only two signers and the, on the other contract there were six signers. And so I wanted to know, is it two or is it six? It's very important because if only two people sign, the other four people can even after they, you supposedly paid the money and the condo is yours. The other four can still come after you and say that they didn't agree to sell the condo and so they can take it back from you. Second, I was looking at buying land in Batangas and they said clean title, clean title, only one owner. However, when I we looked, we took it to the government office and we asked, we verified who the actual owners were. Uh, it wasn't just one owner, nor was it a clean title. It was somebody who had already passed away and now their family uh, owns the land and they're actually fighting about it. So that's that's a problem. Third, verify everything. I know of a story where a couple bought land, you know, they were overseas, they bought land, and they thought that this land was where they were thinking, you know, but when they verified it later and they checked it, they found that the actual land they bought was in the middle of the water. And so I guess it was just documentation paperwork they created, but the real paperwork was, it wasn't real. So verify, verify, verify. So hope that helps you not get duped when buying land or property in the Philippines. Thank you.